Uh, late night commentary number five? What are we up to? What are we up to? Oh, yeah, six. Yeah, I, I forgot. Anyway, uh, so there's two things on my mind and I wanted to talk about them because I think they're pretty important to think about. And that is really the new YouTube layout. Oh, I mean, you know, we, we see these fluctuations and people bitch about them. My problem with the way that people bitch about them, though, is that they don't approach them in the right manner. You know, they always go, Oh, we want the old layout, or we don't want the new layout. Well, if you were making something, like, say, a birdhouse, and your instructor said, you know, build a birdhouse what you think would be for your type of bird. And everybody's building a, a birdhouse for a blue jays, and you're building a birdhouse for a cardinal. I mean... You are, you're making a vision out of your mind and what you think would work for your bird. But everybody's saying, oh, well, we, we see blue jays in our mind. We want to see blue. you do a blue jay. I mean, now, your cardinal design can be fine. But the thing is, is that when you have so many people saying, hey, you know, blue jays actually exist where we live. Cardinals come around once every blue moon. We should have some blue jay houses. I mean, doesn't that make sense? Is to say, is like, you know, you can make this new layout. It can work out just fine, and there's no problem with that. It's just that, you know, YouTube has the word you in it. It's about you, the tuber. I mean, we want to have our customization, our freedom. I mean, another new layout, and we're feeling like there's no uniqueness left anymore. You know, we're all being restricted to this weird profile image that just basically says here's a banner of the stuff that I want you to click on and here's a video describing what I do here you go as opposed to YouTube which has, says like I can make the layout however I want I can customize a banner that allows people to direct to the things I think they would most be interested in and in the old model that I, when I first joined where it had comments feed activity videos uh, playlist all in one screen and I was a huge fan of that and now, um, like I said, it's just, it's just like everybody's making blue jay houses. I think we need to kind of move to a cardinal house, but I mean, when you take out all the creativity behind it, and you say it's not a, it's a, it's basically like saying you're making a birdhouse, but it's just a box. There's no house. There's no design. There's no roof. There's no in uh, integrity of the whole entire structure of it. It's just here's a square box. Deal with it. Uh, I mean, I, and that's what I think that most people have met most feel over the new layout. I I really do think that YouTube should listen to people because my biggest thing is like it just I I want my channel to be unique to me. I, it's like social media is that I want to be able to customize my platform. Wouldn't you want to customize yours? If you if you do this update, it's basically pushing YouTube as a monetary platform as opposed to a acceptable website for free uploading and marketing for just fun. It's more pushing it for a number now. And I'm not going to go like, ranting about it, but I think that people can approach us in different manners. I think we do need to be a little bit more vocal with our opinions to people actually in charge, but the problem is is that our words always hit, hear, hit deaf ears. I mean, Epic Meal Time is already in the new layout. And if I'm not mistaken, they love the new layout because you know they they well they knew about it beforehand. I, but however, it's like you know just because Epic Meal Time loves it, I don't think the other two million users do. I mean, my whole point is, uh, I guess you could say, is that we need to go to direct sources and pretty much speak this in a more cl calm and clear manner. You know, peaceful protests, not go out and rant about it on 20,000 videos saying, fuck this. That's not okay. It's it's a bad habit. Alright, well, that's about it for that. But, uh, guys, normally I don't talk about plans for the weekend or the future, but, uh, I mean, not the future, I mean the weekend, but this weekend, I am not, I'm not sure it's not 100% confirmed. I would really stay tuned to see what's going to happen, because what we might do is, we might do a uh, overnight Dead Space 3 stream with me and my best friend playing, and for those of you who don't know, I played uh, Dead Space 2 on the hardest difficulty my first time through. Uh, so I played Dead Space 2, and 
I got to about the part where I was just leaving the uh, church. I can't remember what the uh, organization was called. And right as I like, right when I got to like halfway point, I just kept getting killed and killed and killed. And what happened was, is I literally spent three hours or so in one room, try just going, to dying and dying and dying. And I, at the time, was losing my shit. I was freaking out. I was cursing. I was screaming. I was doing all that to the point where literally my best friend's neighbor had to come over and knock on our do their door and ring the doorbell and be like, "Could you please be quiet? My children are trying to sleep." And from that day, I try to you know make sure I'm not doing that again. But I think I'm gonna do it again with Dead Space 3 this weekend. Not to the point where I wake the guys' children up, but I mean I'll be quiet enough so they don't wake them up. But I'll be yelling and screaming because I want to play it on the hard difficulty again. So um. If you would like to watch that, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, I guess, or dislike if you don't, I don't know. No, just write comment for now. Because I don't know if it'll happen or not, but we'll see. So, that's it, guys.